हेलो एवरी वन हाव आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टूडे इज द गुरु पौर्णिमा सो इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट एवरी वन हू एड्स सम पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इन अवर लाइफ इज कंसिडर्ड एज अवर गुरु and it is often said that for children their parents are their first gurus but today i am here to create awareness about uh, something which is not uh, talked or accepted or uh, received well we often say that the parents are the gurus for children but is it only the one way no it is both ways as a parent we raise our children we care for them we nurture them but our children are also our gurus when we become parents that means we are ready to learn new set of lessons in our life journey and in that life journey our children act as our gurus they mirror us so what do they mirror they mirror how we treat ourselves how are our relations with ourselves and with the world or with other people we often ignore how we treat others or how we treat ourselves and when the child behaves in the same way we try to correct them we scold them or maybe we set rules for them but if we look at it from a different perspective or from a higher perspective the children they act as our mirrors they give us a second chance to introspect our own behavior patterns our thoughts and our emotional and mental patterns as well so whenever any challenging situation or any uh, tough situation or maybe any day to day situation that occurs with our child we should not only focus to uh, deal or guide our child to i mean how to approach the situation or how uh, the child should deal with it but also we should al- also introspect at the same time how i am dealing with the situation or am i having the same pattern which the child is mirroring in from me and if the answer is yes then it is our job to first correct that within ourselves and it will automatically get resolved or get reflected in the child so the children act as our gurus by acting as the mirror of our own behavioral patterns our limiting beliefs and 
our emotional and mental patterns and thought processes the second thing children are naturally connected more connected or fully connected to the higher version of their selves and the divine consciousness and i have often seen people around ignoring what the children are trying to put forth in any situation or they are not respecting their opinions or people often uh, think that children are uh, i mean whatever they are trying to express or uh, say it is very childish or not of any value but i am sorry to say that i don't agree with all of them here instead i would say we need to step up or we need to step into our higher selves to understand what they are trying to say i am not saying uh, like each and everything because uh, they may uh, uh, try to have fun uh, in some time but uh, i am specially talking this with respect to the uh, current children the old souls who are incarnating right now to raise the frequency and to raise the consciousness because if we observe in day to day things or very small small things the these children are pouring the pulse of wisdom they are trying to teach us how we should let go how we should accept how we should love unconditionally how we should forgive someone how we should be in the receiving mode how we should just go with the flow and this is what we need to learn in the current situations so we should respect our children because they are teaching us to be free to step into our highest versions they are teaching us to be one with our authentic selves so always respect the child whenever they are trying to put forth their opinions another thing children teach us is how to respect our uniqueness how to be authentic with our own self children also teach us how to be happy all the time irrespective of the situation around the circumstances around they are naturally in the state of happiness or bliss and that is why whenever if we are around children and especially of very small age we automatically tend to be happy or we tend to release or forget our worries our stress our loads also these children being of very high vibration 
दे आर ऑलवेज स्प्रेडिंग लव अराउंड सो दे ऑल्सो हेल्प अस रिलीजिंग अवर स्ट्रेस अवर वरीज एंड ऑल दैट इज अनवॉन्टेड सो ऑलवेज रिस्पेक्ट युअर चाइल्ड द सेम वे यू रिस्पेक्ट अदर पीपल बिकॉज इट इज नॉट जस्ट द एज दैट शुड बी रिस्पेक्टेड हवेवर it is the like any other consciousness or any other being irrespective of the age or species should be respected enough or equally similarly the animals nature trees birds mother earth sky all these elements should be respected equally so guru purnima is not just to respect the particular guru in the physical form however it is a message that we should respect whoever trying to help us grow whoever is giving us unconditionally let us respect our gurus be it children be it nature be it mother earth animals trees birds mountains rivers sea skies whoever is giving us unconditionally let us respect those and let us give them gratitude for being there and giving us unconditionally because when we do that we directly or indirectly give gratitude to the divine consciousness and we also be one with that so taking this opportunity i would like to thank all my gurus i would like to give my gratitude to all my gurus and i would like to end this video with a shlok guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwaraha guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha thank you for watching the video love light and peace to all thank you